and we're marking it. Marking it. All right. And action. I have an announcement. We have already set up an appointment at the surrogacy center. Already? Yeah. My mission as a filmmaker is not just to create work. Good. Great, then. Move on. Moving on. All right. <laughs> I'm moving inside. Thank you. It's to create a body of work that will create social change. And action! You queer. Smear the queer! Smear the queer! Cut! I think this film is a teacher's dream. How often do you have a movie that actually makes you put in somebody else's shoes to where you have to sit there and see how what you do as a person ultimately affects somebody else's life. It's taking traditional misbeliefs about bullying, misbeliefs about sex roles, and flipping them on their heads. And only by using this dystopian world could you have that experience where you actually see, oh, that's an assumption I guess I've been holding and I didn't realize I was holding it. Do us all a favor, Will. You tell yourself. We need dialogue, we need education, and we need to talk about these issues of standing up for those who oftentimes are victimized or stigmatized because of who they are. I was five when I knew I wasn't like my family. We need to make sure that everything is in a positive light for youth. They may be going through a horrible thing right now, but is there a possibility that it will get better? Ashley, who did this to you? Nobody. This film allows us to be able to see the situations in a different light and hopefully make them better or take those just out of the picture completely. Twelve six W I Y D P L K Palatka. Today we have a very special person here. We know her as Rocco. We kind of live in a liberal society right now. There is an uproar tonight about this video. All over a film shown by a Palatka high school teacher. That movie had nothing to do with bullying. It was so overwhelming that it caused him to lose consciousness. The video was very offensive to me as a minister of the gospel. Flat out stated that gays are disgusting. We're creating a culture that endorses sodomy. I um, was like, so I just found that out whenever I was 10, and I started dating this girl, Julie, whenever I was 11. I had to stop dating her because people were making fun of me because I was different. So I was sort of mad at myself. So I started cutting myself and smoking. That video that you made, it really helped me. And I made new friends and I go to therapy now to help myself. I've had letters. I've had kids write me wanting to adapt plays about it. I've had people that are 65 years old telling me for the first time that it allowed them to see what it would be like on the other side and that it changed them. Tell me what uh, Love Is All You Need, what's it all about? Love Is All You Need was created in response to all of the bullying that was all over the news in 2010. I've worked hand in hand with educators with my production company, creating high level educational, very engaging videos. It speaks to our mission there to educate and and engage people. I do think it, it opens some kids' eyes up to bullying and how they treat others. It's important that people know it's okay to be like that because that's just the way you are. And you can't change that. My goal isn't to tell a gay story or make straight people feel bad about being straight. My objective is to bridge the gap between the two polarized points of view and create a space of common ground and empathy. That's what learning is, is questioning beliefs and admitting that you know they don't know it all and that maybe the way that they have been thinking is wrong. My personal commitment to LGBT civil rights is through the power of cinema. We should not be defined by who we love, but instead as the human that we are. This is not a gay problem or a straight problem. It's a human problem. We can make a difference. 
we can impact the world. And I'm getting better thanks to you. So, thank you. I'll leave my life.